Hi, so what we want to talk about in this video is MLA formatting for the paper as a whole, specifically for in-text citations and your annotated works cited. And we want to remind ourselves a little bit how to evaluate our sources in our works cited. So I'm going to move pretty quickly here, but you can stop and pause the video and rewatch it however you need to do. And I'm actually probably going to break this up into two little videos, one that gives an overview and another that digs in a little more deeply into the works cited. So the whole idea of MLA citation is that all our papers are going to look exactly the same. Now this might sound like some horrible vision of American social conformity, but it actually puts all the attention on the quality of your thinking and your writing. You're not assessed for what your paper looks like because it looks like everyone else's. You're assessed for what it says. So you're going to open up the header and put in your last name and then select the automatic page numbering function so that it will automatically number your pages. Don't type in page one. It, it, the uh, software, uh, Google or Word will do that for you. Then you're going to follow these exact headings. Your name, my name, our course number, in this case 251, and notice the exact format of the date. No commas, and it's in this order, not the traditional order. The title is in the same font as everything else. Nothing tricky, nothing big, no, nothing larger, just very, very straightforward. So you want to look at your paper and say, does mine look exactly like this? Once you start putting in paragraphs, notice that they're indented. The margins on the side of your paper are one inch all around. You can't really see that in this video because I had to frame it closer than that. But the whole paper has one inch margins. Um, and you're going to indent your paragraphs. This is your intro paragraph. But let's look at a body paragraph. So the body paragraph has the indent. Notice it includes the name of the artifact and the year in parentheses right next to it. You want to do that. And when it cites a source, when it refers to a timeline to give some context for the reading, it uses the first word, which is usually the last name of the author, or first couple of words, if it's the name of an article or site, that come from the works cited entry. So I see here Campbell in parentheses. I scroll down the page, and there it is, Campbell, Donna. Note that I've got a correct citation. I use the library website to help me do that, or sorry, Megan did. And then I have a detailed evaluation of the site. We'll talk more about these later. Let's go back up in the paragraph. Woo this is making me dizzy looking at all this. Woo okay. Um, so that's in-text citation. Now, when you're citing an exact quote from a source, it's important to know what the in-text citation rules are there. So here we get a quote from uh, uh, the source called Stanton. Notice the it's a very brief quote worked into a sentence that interprets it. There's a quotation mark at the beginning and the end. The citation is outside the quote, but inside the period. Again, when you're quoting something, your citation is outside the quotations and inside the period. It's part of the sentence, so it needs to be inside of the period, but it's not part of the quote, so it needs to be outside of the quote. So one last time, outside the quote, inside the sentence. All right, good. So those are the two main ways that we do in-text citations. Let's just move on quickly to look at the works cited. Um, and you're going to notice here that the works cited has a live link wherever I'm referring to a website or something that I can send the reader directly to so that the reader can click on that and be taken there. It follows the exact format presented on the MLA library page. And that's the last thing I want to do. I want to take you back to that MLA library page. I'm going to do it by going to our uh, writing uh, American Studies Papers page, clicking on Library MLA page, and everything you need to really do a good job with this is right there. Particularly want to encourage you to open up and use the sample handout because what this handout does is it looks at all sorts of different samples of the kinds of entries that you might need to do. And for each sample, it gives you 
uh, an example of how to do it. Also gives you some guidance on in-text citation and in-text citation when quoting. So this handout is incredibly valuable. I strongly recommend that you print it out. Okay, in the second part of this video, which I'm going to break up so it's a little easier to upload to the website, uh, I'm going to talk more closely about how to compose evaluations in your papers. So hopefully I'll see you in a few minutes when you jump over to that video. And then of course, later, see you in Blackboard. Thanks.